uh, hi vishnu good morning uh, i am here uh, so whenever we are ready we can start okay sir okay sir ചെയ്യണ്ടുണ്ടാണ്ടുണ്ടാണ്ടുണ്ടാണ്ടുണ്ടാണ്ടുണ്ടാണ്ടുണ്ടാണ്ടുണ്ടാണ്ടുണ്
so someone has asked me to raise my voice uh, i think i am already at the limit of my uh, mic volume only the suppose take lena best experience ga earphone use panna sir illa na phone volume increase panni paarenga if it is visible uh, audible or not right i hope i am audible to everyone else sir is audible sir uh, yes yes okay audible. great audible. so without much uh, delay let me go ahead uh, with the presentation of today sure uh, in your presentation or title on the ants super stars and super lives uh, super stars vandu uh, super star anni sir da epovume solluvom avaroda super lives da naan screen la paathirukom but avaroda life maadhiri vandu or super ana life or super tax a irukku adhu da ants epdin paathina ants vandu romba common ave naam ella edathiya paapom i'll turn the camera so that it's much better yeah uh, So ants have been putting that they are uh, you know, comparable to a superstar because the kind of role that they play in our environment is amazing. Uh, ants have a responsible role uh, in the unit uh, in the ecology is unparalleled to anyone else. That's why they are nicknamed as superstars by me, and they have a really amazing life. So let me quickly take you on a journey. Now we are on a journey. Let's go. All of them. In the journey, let's go. ants எப்படி அவங்க சூப்பர் ஸ்டார் ரோல வந்து சூப்பரா அவங்க லைஃப்ல இன்கல்கேட் பண்றாங்க அத நாம பாப்போம் சோ லெட்ஸ் கோ ஆன் திஸ் ஜர்னி திஸ் ஜர்னி will take about 1 hour 15 minutes so let's all together go on this journey இதான ஒரு பிக்சர் மாதிரி ஒரு நம்ம ரஜினி சாரோட பிக்சர் மாதிரி நாம பாப்போம் இந்த ஸ்டோரிக்கு வந்து ஒரு பேக் கிரவுண்ட் இருக்கு ஒரு ஹிஸ்டரி இருக்கு அந்த ஹிஸ்டரி வந்து ஜுராசிக் பார்க் பிக்சர் பாத்துறோம் பாத்தீங்களா அந்த காலத்துல வந்து ஸ்டார்ட் ஆகுது it starts in the jurassic period in the geological time uh, time vandu earth oda divide pannona alla or time irukku that is jurassic period and the period la vandu dinosaurs namba paathirukom tv la illa na youtube la paathirukom and the time when dinosaurs were roaming very freely on the earth they were the kings they were the superstars of the earth at that time and the time la vandu sila dinosaurs enna nenacha okay uh, it's enough of walking on the land so let's take uh, to the sky So a lot of dinosaurs said, "Okay, let's stop being dinosaurs and let's start becoming birds." So that's the time in which the story starts. Uh, it was the exactly Jurassic period, or the ending time. And the time level, the story starts. And the time level, we are seeing. See, the vast scene. Vast, when we are common, we are seeing. When we are like, "Cut it, go, cut it," we are seeing the swelling of the body. So it's that group. So, at the time, only there are already wasps existing. So, some of these wasps thought that you know it's really boring uh, to be a wasp. Yeah, na yappa pata la inge angya parang kita erende. Ina ina na na achieve pano boron. Kila wasp there and say na okay, let's try something different. And then some of these wasps start like become ants, right? This is a very simplified version of evolution that I'm telling you. So, a few wasps decided to turn into ants. and that gave rise to the first ant species that the world knew or the world knows as of now all the pair vandu specomerma free ipo epdi nu pathina idu enna indha erumbu vandu or yellow color drop color irukku enna nu pathina idu vandu or amber specimen amber vandu ellarkum ungalku therinjirukum prehistoric times la vandu if a tree is injured and the tree la irundhu or stamp varum velila ipo kuda namba paapom சில ட்ரீஸ் வந்து நம்ம இன்ஜர் பண்ணனா அதுல இருந்து வந்து எல்லோ கலரா ஃப்ளூயிட் வரும் கம்மல நிறைய பேர் நம்ம யூஸ் பண்ணுவோம் பேஜஸ்லாம் ஒட்டுறதுக்கு சோ அதே மாதிரி அந்த சேம் ஃப்ளூயிட் தான் அந்த ஷார்ப் என்ன வரும் when it is compressed over time because of the pressure of the earth it becomes amber it's almost like a jewelry item மாதிரி இருக்கும் சோ இந்த ஷார்ப் வந்து வெளியில யூஸ் பண்ணும்போது if there is an insect which is trapped within it it gets preserved for an entire uh, eternity அப்படி சொல்லலாம் So, this is one of the amber specimens uh, within which this ant was trapped. So, scientists have found this in uh, Western Europe. And from these specimens of uh, amber, uh, the oldest known ant to us, that is Pekomerima Frey. This is one of the discoveries. That is one of the Heidomerimic Kimtaris, one of the species of the discoveries. But if you look at this close-up, you can see that it's a very good one. ஒரு 
translate into uh, english uh, hey hero means hell uh, so it is an organism which has uh, been born in hell and the word is not a greek name or a description satan or a ஒரு <laughs> 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 Thank you for telling me, Vishnu. Now, you. where did you not see my presentation? Was this visible, Vishnu? Yeah, yeah, now visible now. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I want to see someone saying, why is this breaking? Uh, I'm sure my voice is clear. Otherwise, I wish I had any time, you know, the voice break, actually, I'm going to remind you, so that I'll immediately check. Is okay. it okay? Okay, now, okay. Now, I'll tell you the presenter. I'll tell you the presenter. Please, Vasanta. பன்னீர் சாமி கிரேட் சமன் இஸ் டெலிங் தட் மை வாய்ஸ் இஸ் பிரேக்கிங் ஐ எம் நாட் ரியலி ஷூர் बिकॉज இஃப் மை வாய்ஸ் வாஸ் பிரேக்கிங் अदर्स वुड हैव टोल्ड மீ மை வாய்ஸ் இஸ் பிரேக்கிங் ரைட் ஓகே ஐ कंटिन्यू வித் மை பிரசன்டேஷன் பை தென் ஓகே நோ ஹெட் நா ரைட் சோ ड्यूरिंग எவல்யூஷன் நே நான்ஸ் தாட் தட் இட்ஸ் a good idea to you know change their image சோ இந்த ஸ்லைட்ல நீங்க என்ன பாக்குறீங்கன்னா நாலு ஸ்பீஷிஸ் இருக்கு இது எவ்வளவு கியூட்டா இருக்கு முன்னாடி இருந்த ஸ்பீஷிஸ் வந்து இட் லுக்ஸ் ரியலி வெரி வியர்ட் பட் தென் ஓவர் எவல்யூஷன் அண்ட் ஓவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் டைம் ஆன்ஸ் ரியலி என்ன சேஞ்ச் देयर இமேஜ் அண்ட் a lot of ants nowadays are like really cute looking and uh, okay there is someone else who is trying to present again yes okay yeah right so so the, uh, in short uh, what i told you is a history of evolution edin pathina na vandu romba easy mode la vandu ungalku vandu evolution oda or history sonna what this basically means that ants are you know uh, historically associated with wasps edin uh, pathina uh, ants oda ancestors vandu wasp ants oda next the next version of ants are honey bees so honey bees wasps and ants they are all related to each other this is the uh, uh, gist of the entire story but then epo vandu namm yosichirpo ants vandu enna color la irukum either they are black or they are orange or whatever red but then lesser known fact is that ants vandu nariya colors la irukum ants come in various different colors and in this slide you can actually see ants that are green that are orange that are brown adhe mari vandu olympics la vandu medal vaagra mari gold silver bronze in the color la ants irukku and then one of the most weirdest uh, color of an ant yaar yaar guess panna vera enna color ants irukku you can actually use the chat option to tell me what other colors do you think ants can be of can anyone uh, you know guess ants vera enna color la irukku chat option la vandu neenga type panni enak solla ஓகே yellow அதுதர் வேற olive green ஓகே हां மங்களாயத்தன் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் எஸ் blue how many of you think that blue is also an option right so actually blue is an interesting option because if you in the slide நீங்க பாத்தீங்களா this is an australian ant and if you can look at it you will see that they have this multicolored uh, rainbow colored uh, ant which is predominantly blue in nature and there is one more again australian polyrex is okay re adu kuda blue va irukku so next time yaro ketaanga ants vandu romba dull ana ants are not just black and uh, red ants are also blue in color ants are also green in color gold silver bronze mari color la irukku and it's not just color it's also the morphological variation of ants for example in this slide you can see how different and varied the shapes of ants are in the way one ant or a structure you can see it uh, primarily because they are so small that easily our attention is going 
then adu close ah nam paathala for example engalukku nalla microscope irukudha the kind of science uh, is really amazing in this slide la pathinga inna diverse ah irukku for example sila ifoda ee pallu vandu yanoda pallu maari irukku pathinga like the tusk elephant tusk some of the teeth is like இருக்கு <laughs> 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 Okay, there are some comments which say that my voice is not clear. Is it so? Uh, so can you still hear me? Yeah, no. If the light is a little disturbed, then it's okay. Now it's okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because once in a while the network is... Ah, yeah. Once in a while at times because of the network, uh, there might be an issue. Yeah, so please bear with me and immediately on the message so that I will take some time to pause and once the world... volume is clear we can go ahead so that no one misses anything right okay so it is my so i was at the this ant so this ant is called a turtle ant it is a common name but then ellarume vandu inga nare per vandu science padichirukinga value kudichirukinga nare per theriyum that okay i want to make this present nare per theriyum that common names are not very good scientific names are uh, better as standardizing names for a genus name or a specialty and the specialty is very amazing and it is also a video also i will see in the video stream properly because it is a large and the language and the video may not stream properly but still i will try to stream this and i hope everyone is able to see the video illa na idoda link irukku na and link undu ungalku amichu udra நீங்க வந்து அப்புறம் ஈஸியா நீங்க பாக்கலாம் ஓகே சோ லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் There are over 100 species of turtle ants but most of my work is focused on a single species Cephalodes varians Now this ant is really remarkable not only in its sort of outside structure its anatomy but also in its ecology as we look at the outside of the direction ants come in two different sizes, these small minor workers and then these large headed and major workers. And in Cephalodes variants, what you see is that their head structure, their capsule has become essentially a flattened disc. It looks like a dinner plate or a saucer. And the reason they have this is it's to block the nest entrance of the hollow twigs that they live in. So this makes sure that no intruders can get in and in or out. They're essentially living doorways. Now if we look at sort of the ecology of these ants, these ants are herbivores or vegetarians. They're feeding almost entirely on plant-based diets. So how do they capture enough resources or nutrients in their environment? And what they rely on are bacteria that live inside their guts. So just like humans have helpful gut bacteria, so do turtle ants. So I've been studying the turtle ants and their bacteria using DNA. So what this allows me to do is to capture not only the sort of genetic diversity of the ants, but also the bacteria and figure out how long they've been living together evolutionarily. So here at the Field Museum, I'm able to bring those specimens back. And not only do I keep some of those specimens on the traditional pens so I can look at their morphology, we also ensure that we keep some of those collections in our freezers for long-term storage so that scientists now and even well into the future can continue to use the collections here at the Field Museum. ஒரு <laughs> Yeah, uh, so now in the video, uh, I will explain to you what happened in that video because a lot of people would not have been able to see the video properly, right? 
So what happened in that video is that it showed you the life history of cephalotus. Why does it have a structure on its head like a dish antenna? During evolution, what has happened is these are arboreal species. Arboreal is a tree and nest. And arboreal ants have a lot of enemies. So when arboreal ants are being attacked by their enemies, in the ants using their specially modified structure on their head, they block the entrance of the nest with this plate-like structure. That is the reason why this ant has developed this uh, very interesting uh, structure on its head. And this is called a turtle ant. This is an interesting ant. is the African army ant. So you can see this ant here. It has a teeth which is like a hook. A fishing hook. Now again there is a video that I will play. Uh, with the hope that it plays properly. And you can take a look at this video and at the end of it, I will tell you what this video is all about. Army ants are nature's mongol hordes, always on the move and ravaging everyone in their path. You can only run from them and don't waste time. Because when an ant colony is on the move, they rule the road. Anything that stands in their way will be overwhelmed. Army ants have large scissor-like jaws called mandibles. They use these weapons to slice their prey apart. They don't waste time eating and then digesting. While they're dicing up their prey, they spread a dissolving acid. Once flesh, muscles, and tendons melt down to a liquidized matter, they eat it and keep going. The only defense is not moving a muscle. The soldier army ants are nearly blind. About all they can distinguish is light and darkness. So they detect prey by movement. This patrol is heading out to forage. If the scouts find food, they'll relay the news by a scent back to the nest so the colony can mobilize. This beetle is six times the size of one ant, but no match for an army. Some prey isn't eaten on the spot, but carved into pieces and toted back to the colony. It's like slaves building the pyramids. Get enough of them, and they can haul almost anything. They're so numerous, the total weight of the world's ants roughly equals the weight of humanity. Their numbers make them a natural insecticide, able to exterminate an entire patch of ground, at least till they move on. Yeah, uh, so I hope that video streamed for everyone, uh, depends on what the connection was. Okay, so what happened in that video is there is this ant called the army ant from Africa. And on the video, this ant will eat about anything and everything that moves. And uh, that is how dangerous it is. And the scissor-like teeth or the hook-like teeth that you saw, is actually used to capture any kind of prey that it uh, finds and to cut it open and then take it to its nest. Right? That's what the uh, army ant is famous for. And there is a very interesting story that I would want to share. So there was a, a friend of mine from Africa who I met uh, last year in a conference. So he was you know, doing field work in Africa for ants. 
and then in the, on a particular morning uh, someone from the village an elderly person from the village he came to him uh, and the other villagers and said that we need to move from the village and then immediately badana ellarume vandu they packed food packed water and then they all left the village and went to a small hillock near their village and they went on top of the village and stayed there for an entire day and then they came back in the evening so the reason for this is because the village elder saw that there was a group of army ants which was coming to the uh, village the army ants are so dangerous that uh, when they were escaping and the edathula vand there was a dog which was chained to a pole vand paakumbodhu and the dog e kadaiyadu there were only a few bones of the dog remaining the ants actually ate up the entire dog which was chained that is how dangerous ants can be right so the the army ants can be so that is one of the interesting parts of it now let's move on from their interesting behavior to something more special the ants usually namm enna nadakkum that ants are really small you know uh, usually theriyadu kannukku theriyadu and most of the times ants are actually small but the diversity in their size is really large for example the smallest ant species is so small that or celebrity penna vechi ninga or paper la or dot pottingna and the size vand minimum size from that size to about 2 inches and then there are ants which are about 4 4 and a half inches 4 and a half inches vand almost it is the size of our index finger so ants can be that big as well so the next time if someone says that ants are not big always tell them that ants can be as big as 4 inches the size of our index finger okay so in spite of all this diversity Uh, and the uh, diversity of color shape size ants are known for something really different ants are called super organisms organism kelvi padringa we are an organism human beings every individual is an organism every cat is an organism even a amoeba is an organism but then now i am telling you that ants are super organisms what do you mean by super organisms and what, why does a particular individual become a super organism now let's look about that first one and ants are super organism pathina avanga vand ants have achieved many things in their life first achievement enna pathina they are numerical and biomass dominance numerical and biomass dominance what do you mean by that let us look at it in terms of examples idna padichu ungalku solren there are more species of ants in a square kilometer of brazilian forest than all species of primates in the world idoda artha enna artha enna na or square kilometer area la there are more species of ants or square kilometer area brazil la etna species of ants irukku that is more than all the species of primates primates are the monkeys chimpanzees gorillas in the world so when you compare the number of species in one square kilometer area of brazil it is much more greater than the number of species of primates all around the world so our diversity is to be at the population level above there are more workers in a single colony of driver ants than all the lions and elephants in africa this is really uh, boggling because what if what the statement says that in african continent la lions and elephants oda population and one colony oda driver ants population a compare panna panni paathona the number the population of driver ants of a single colony is much more greater than the number of popul that is number of individuals or the population of all elephants and lions in africa so idha vechi na yosichu paakalam what is the total population of entire Yeah, what, what is the population, the population of entire ant colony is ant kingdom arthur chimen papo it's called they are called the accomplished architects of terrestrial world now what does this mean architecture building construct pandra towers construct pandra even enna construct pandra pathina various kinds of nests the diversity in the nest structure of ants is really amazing in the even pathina there are four different types of ant nests 
or the depth of this nest is about 15 to 20 feet nadula irukku so imagine an ant nest which is about 15 to 20 feet in depth and about uh, say 8 feet in width imagine the size of this nest engala or bedroom size this ant or nest so that is how amazing their architectural skills are and, and then, then you, you see, see this designs do it by using their 